Hey everybody, Craig here from Mainstream Mountain Guy and Curated.com doing a quick uh, ski review on the uh, K2 um, Reckoner 92. So uh, these skis, man, they were, uh, uh, K2 sells them for so inexpensive. I thought I'm just gonna grab a pair of these and see what they're like. So I bought them in the uh, 178. Uh, that's as long as they make them. And, and really, I talked to the rep about these skis and uh, I asked him, I said, hey, how come you're making these things for so cheap? And he said, really, our target market is that tweener age kid, that um, that kind of nine to 16, 17 year old kid that wants to get on the mountain, play around a lot, spend a lot of time in the park, and uh, just have fun on a ski and get them into the sport for pretty cheap. So it really is. So I think they, um, I think they start at two ninety nine without bindings. Uh, this time of year in March, you can get them for probably two twenty or two thirty. Um, and so, yeah, these um, I bought, and they are great for the park and goofing around in there. Um, but they're not really great for much else. Um, unlike the the next step up, the Reckoner one o two. Um, there is no carbon braiding in here. So it's just all wood core and um, and there is no ABS sidewall. It's all capped construction, which keeps it really light and really twisty and everything like that. Um, but it doesn't make for super stable, um, super stable ski. I mean, you could really um, put a lot of torque and twist on it and it really gives out the edge control. When you really are going fast, you're kind of leaning into it. Um, you're, you're making that carve, but you're not getting a lot of edge control. Matter of fact, it is hard to carve when going fast. They just kind of want to skid out. Uh, the other thing is, is I went ahead and mounted them uh, where it said uh, team. And uh, so team, so but here's team and here's midsole. Um, but uh, man, that team, setting is really really close to ski center and uh so that took a little bit getting used to for me it was fun like on moguls and things like that it was really quick side to side uh it was great going off of jumps and doing um kind of some of my dad jumps that i do really easy to swing the ski around swing weight super super low um, but man, anytime I got in the soft snow, these things just dove straight down. Even though they have pretty good tip and tail rocker, they really, really dove down. So I think this is a ski, a great ski for uh, what it is. And, and that's a tweener ski. It really is, has a construction and everything of a kid's ski. If you're a full size adult um, weighing in at over 150, 160 pounds, these are just not your ski, but they might be your, the ski for your kid. Um, but uh, definitely a fun ski, and um, just don't grab it and think that this is just going to be a great all-mountain ski for you. It's, it's not. It's, it's made for what it is to be a great entry-level ski for kids who want to play around the park and just getting used to skiing. And, um, and that, I have to say, thanks, K2, for making affordable skis um, where kids could get out there and have a good time. All right. Thanks so much for watching this quick and dirty ski review. Uh, please subscribe and uh, like and comment if you have more questions or have any skis that you want me to review. I'll try to get a hold of them and get a review out there for them. Have a great day and we'll see you next time right here on Mainstream Mountain Guide.